क्या आपके पास जवाब नहीं है आर यू समन हु इज अनोइड विद अंकुर वारिको एड्स ऑन यूट्यूब आर यू समन हु वॉन्ट्स टू नो हु इज अंकुर वारिको आर अंकुर वारिको एंड देवगढ़ बी सिमिलर वॉट अबाउट आशनीर ग्रोवर भाई अंकुर वारिको और मेरा नाम एक सेंटेंस में नहीं लेना है कुछ भी बोल दे माँ बहन की गाली दे दो कुछ नहीं बोलेगा अंकुर वारिको नहीं बोलना है ही इज अंकुर वारिको अ स्कैमर Is he another internet fake guru? How does Ankur Wariko make so much of money in a short span of time? If you want to know everything about Ankur Wariko, this is the only video you need. Janenge is video. Before we begin this video, let's run the disclaimer. This video is not to defame the individual; it is for educational purposes only. All the information that I've provided here is available on the public domain. First of all, kaun hai Ankur Wariko? Ankur Wariko is one of the highly successful content creators in India, especially in the fintech category. I know a lot of you had commented Ankur Wariko's name in uh, Devgadvi's video in my channel. Also, I understand why so many wrote his name because there are similarities between Devgadvi and Ankur Wariko. Not sure if Ankur Wariko is copying Dev Gadvi's strategies, but here are the similarities that I found. Dev Gadvi's main source of income is selling online courses. Ankur Wariko's main source is also selling online courses. Dev Gadvi runs ads. Ankur Wariko also runs ads. He actually runs more ads than Dev Gadvi. It almost looks like they are in competition to flood YouTube with their ads. Dev Gadvi is excellent in sales. Ankur Wariko is also excellent in sales. Both of them are motivational. speakers i tell you the thing about motivational speakers with sales background are amazing storytellers one side dev gadvi comes up with an emotional story of how a truck driver's son becomes a millionaire in a short span of time now ankur also comes up with his own emotional story how he had money only for 5 months of survival but he became a crorepati in just a short amount of time One said Dev Gadvi makes motivational rap song. Now Ankur also comes up with his own version of epic motivational rap song. When people were annoyed with Dev Gadvi's ads, Dev Gadvi made another ad reading the hate comments of previous ads and laughing at them. Now Ankur also comes up with his version of an ad reading the hate comments. According to me, Ankur Wariko is not a successful entrepreneur. He is a failed entrepreneur. Let me take you through his entrepreneurial journey. In 2008 after his MBA from ISB he joined a company called Accentium run by his batchmates Ankur joins as a co-founder and works on two startups in this company one is gadi.com and the other one is secondshadi.com most probably you are not aware of these startups because they are not successful startups in 2011 he joins groupon as a ceo groupon is an online deal company where you get discounts in restaurants and salons this is not a successful and sustainable business model because the entire structure is built on discounts and people had to take printouts of the vouchers and show them to get the offer this was about to fade away in india and that is when he gets a breakthrough with the new business model called nearby.com in 2015 he becomes popular from this new business model nearby.com as it gets funding from sequoia and also a scalable business in 2017 paytm acquires nearby.com this startup gives employment to more than 600 people and gets funding of nearly 40 million dollars but when the company is becoming popular and doing well he steps down as ceo but why it's a real question like how new company hrs ask employees right why did you quit your previous job in one of his ads he mentions he quit nearby.com to help people like you to become entrepreneurs such me anyway in 2019 he notices the business trend on youtube and jumps to content creation in 2020 golden year for content creators lockdowns happen ankur wariko takes the business of content creation very seriously under his new company web veda He cracks the YouTube algorithm and reaches 1 million subscribers and runs ads left right center on YouTube. In just 2 years, he will make 40 crores. I think his entire life put together, he would not have earned this much money. Now, how did he make this much money in such a short span of time? Let's look at the sources of revenue for Ankur Wariko. There are five sources of revenue for Ankur Wariko: selling online courses, brand collaborations, book royalty, corporate talks and affiliated marketing. The major revenue is from selling online courses and brand collaborations. 
Rest of them are small streams of revenue. Let's analyze these courses. Majorly, he has five courses running and many more in the pipeline. How to YouTube is a premium course which he sold for 5,000 rupees per person in the beginning and later he reduced it to 2,000 per person. He also offers slightly cheaper versions of this course for 1,700 and 1,300 rupees. Another premium course is complete guide to startup is on how to become an entrepreneur. This course is for 1,500 rupees. How to Instagram is for 3,000 rupees which is a live session course. Time management course, which you would have seen repeatedly in the ads, is cheaper and available in 700, 400, and 300 options. Communication course is for 750, 650, and 550 rupees. Ankurwariko runs ads of these courses on the internet, especially on YouTube. And you are the audience, and that's how you would have got his ads. He also promotes brands in his videos and earns money, and uh, this is his actual business model. By selling courses alone, he has made around 19 crores. Large portion of this content success comes from the new business model nearby.com. Using this startup, he built a personal brand for himself that gave foundation to build followers in his content creation journey. It's not like Ankur Variku woke up one night and became famous in content creation. He's been creating content for many years. In 2005, he started his own blog writing when he was a student at ISB. The blog posts are short format and similar to Seth Godin blog. In 2012, he started his content on Quora.com. He answered questions related to corporate life. At present, he has more than 7 million views on Quora.com. In 2014, he works on LinkedIn content. He's one of the early creators to jump on LinkedIn videos. And also he becomes really popular on LinkedIn. In 2019, after stepping down as CEO of nearby.com, he takes YouTube full time. He consistently posts videos on YouTube. In 2020, after lockdowns and when YouTube becomes popular, Ankur Variku goes all in with a team of 15 people and succeeds on YouTube. By the way, if you are someone who wants to start a YouTube channel similar to Ankur Variku, here is a gist of his content strategy. Choose five keywords. Bus. Mistakes, regrets, advice, money, and books. Bus. Itni hai. Now I will tell you 50 video topic ideas. Let's start with mistakes. Mistakes of 20s, 30s and 40s. Mistakes of college students, job going people, freelancers, entrepreneurs. Mistakes of friendships, relationships, love, family, colleagues, etc, etc. Mistakes of courses, degree, resume, etc, etc. Mistakes to avoid in 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. Okay. Now remove the mistakes and add regrets. Regrets of 20s, 30s and 40s, young, old, college, relationships, friendships, family, colleagues, first job, last job, current job, dream job, etc. Now replace the keyword with advice. Advice for 20s, 30s and 40s, college going students, job going people, old people, young people, kids. Advice for relationships, friendships, procrastination, personal finance, money, etc, etc. You got more than 50 video topic ideas inspired from Ankur Variku channel. If you're already annoyed, let's move to the next segment of this video, which is an important question. Is Ankur Variku a scammer? Well, he was part of the influencers who promoted the World Startup Convention. People call it the biggest funding scam of 2023. But later he withdrew from this as soon as the scam got bigger. In another money laundering scam, a crypto investment brand called Vault, which became popular in 2021. This company got involved in a money laundering case. Ankur Variku was one of the main influencers who promoted this product for crypto investments. A lot of people had actually invested in this company after getting influenced by the content creator not sure if the money will come back to the investors. Ankur Variku is not a SEBI registered financial advisor. In a subtle way, he recommends the products by saying he only promotes the products that he personally uses or he knows the founders. If Ankur Variku is recommending some financial advice instead of blindly following it, please do your own research. Recently, SEBI has banned PR Sundar, another finance influencer, for one year from trading or even training business. The thing about these coaches, 
PR Sundar has made more money in training people how to trade than actual trading. Dev Gadvi has made all the money by just telling people how to make money. Ankur Wariko has made more money by teaching how to become an entrepreneur than in actual entrepreneurship. For me, Ankur Wariko is a failed entrepreneur and highly successful content and course creator. To end this video, I want to say one thing, whether you buy his course or not buy his course, make sure it is your own 100% decision by fully knowing who the person is and not randomly falling for YouTube ads. Maza Aiga, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.